Amen. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Victory Fridays. All right, I'm Apostle Dr. Linda. This is Apostle Jeff uh, from Victory Church of Alexandria. Yay, yay. All right, we're going to ask Apostle Jeff to um, lead us a word in prayer, and then I'll give some announcements. Thank you, Lord, for your healing power, your miraculous power, your redemption for us. We thank you for your word. <laughs> We praise you for this night that all of us can be together and gather in your name. Lord, we just ask you to reveal to us what we need to do to get that miracle breakthrough all of us need. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we're Victory Church of Alexandria, formerly Covenant Life Church. The Lord just changed our name for this season. Amen. Actually, for the season going forward, we don't know what else he's going to do. But uh, that's our new name for now. Amen. And we're enjoying it, praise God, because there's always victory in Christ. Amen? Amen. So again, we want to thank you for joining us tonight. Um, we had to do a little switch up tonight. We were going to be live, uh, but we have a lot of inclement weather around D.C. So we Flooding, just, local flooding. Yeah, bad, so. yeah, so we just felt led uh, to give our troops a break tonight and uh, just, just do Facebook tonight. Amen? Yeah. And so the first uh, Friday of each month, we had planned um, that we were going to have Miracle and Healing Night. And so the sermons are going to evolve around miracles and healings as much as possible. And then um, when we're live uh, in the sanctuary, those who come out, amen, we're going to be practicing on one another. And whoever needs a miracle or healing, amen, might get in a group and others will lay hands on them or pray for them without laying hands, whatever mm -hmm. uh, you feel led to do. But we're going to stir up the gift of working the miracles mm -hmm. and the gifts of healing. Amen? amen. Praise God. And so the Lord said to start practicing this to believe for it. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be some people such as myself who needed a real miracle. And yeah. we're going to be fasting and praying and uh, getting ready for the, for the miracle Friday night. Amen. So the victory, so the first victory Friday night of each month, we're going to try to do our miracle and healing night. Okay. If there's a, if there's a change in the schedule, we'll certainly tell you. Mm -hmm. All right. But I don't know about you, but there's, uh, but I need lots of healing, lots of miracles. Amen. And there's not only medical miracles, right? There's financial, there's relationship. There's all kinds of stuff. People need cars, they need homes. Amen. They, uh, you know, all kinds of things. They need legal battles solved, etc. So we need all kinds of miracles. Amen. So we want to encourage you to tune in uh, to that first Friday night of each month. And then we're also going to have a special event night. Um, and that might be, it could be the second, third or fourth Friday. Uh, it's going to float um, as the Lord leads. And we're going to have special guest speakers. We're even going to have speakers from our own congregation. But we're going to have special topics. And um, the special event night is going to be a totally different venue. There's not going to be any worship. There's not going to be any sermon. Um, there's going to be some presentations. Everything will be God-based, of course. But we'll, we'll have presentations and guest speakers. And uh, we'll also break, break up or break down into small groups. Uh, as the as the topic affords, and it's going to be a good fellowship time. So you really want to key in also to these Fridays com coming up. And so mm -hmm. we're we're going to be advertising them, and um, and then on other Fridays we'll have guest speakers uh, from from the pulpit, and we have conferences coming up. Uh, and and in fact in February on the twenty fifth, um, that Friday is going to be Apostle Enos and Diane Chamberlain. Mm -hmm. They're going to be Facebooking in, mm -hmm. and uh, they're going to be with us uh, Facebook wise on Friday and Sunday. And that's February 25th and February 27th. So we want you to please tune in. Amen. And uh, so we're going to have a little different venue for this uh, year. Okay. So we just want to invite you out. Uh, if you're in the local area or whatever, please come on in and uh, be with us in, in the sanctuary. And if not, tune in on uh, Facebook. Amen. Um, all don donations, all the, all the tax receipts uh, have already been sent out. So if you didn't get a tax receipt and you donated to Covenant Life Church uh, in 2021, uh, contact me. You can either contact me through uh, Covenant Life Church 7 at gmail.com. Uh, and, and, and Armani, thanks for doing the chat tonight. If you would type that uh, email address in for everybody. If anybody has a discrepancy um, in their tax deductible receipt, just contact us. Okay, it's not a problem. But our e email is covenantlifechurch7 at gmail.com, or you can contact me directly, lynda.r.herbert at gmail.com. Either way, it's going to get, get to us. Okay? 
but all the tax re receipts have been sent out uh, via email. Uh, if you don't have email and you didn't get your tax receipt, again, contact me and we'll snail mail it to you. Okay, uh, the mailing address is still the same. You can put Covenant Life Church or Victory Church of Alexandria, PO Box 1262, um, and it's still the same. It's Springfield, Virginia 22151. All of our accounts are still the same. The only thing that changed was the uh, name. Mm -hmm. So everything is still valid. Whatever check you write to us, whether it's Covenant Life Church or Victory Church, it's still valid. Mm -hmm. Okay, not a, not a problem. You will, you will get credit for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't want anybody to panic about that. All right, if you've got any questions, you can just go go ahead and contact us. All right. So um, I, I just want to give a, a, a quick praise report before we turn it over to Apostle Jeff. Uh, this is our first miracle healing night. Um, we haven't done this in, in in quite a while. We wanted to do this last year and it just didn't work work out. And now the Lord said dedicate a night and, and get it going. Amen. Mm -hmm. And of course, this year, part of the word of the Lord that Jeff and I re received was that this is year of special favor and special miracles. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we really want to seek God uh, for whatever miracle healing that you all need. Okay. We really want to believe him. And um, so I just want to share really quickly, uh, the enemy tried to come against us tonight mm -hmm. in several ways, and but but God. Mm -hmm. And so our testimony is, like even in our own house, uh, the heat's been off since last night. So, <laughs> so excuse my appearance tonight, but I'm staying warm. Amen. And uh, but God, amen, got the got the repairman here today, amen, with the right part. It was after supper, uh, just just before the Zoom, just just before this Facebook. Mm -hmm. And praise God, he had the part. First of all, they didn't have the part. Yeah, we had to pray it in. We were praying it in since yesterday. Okay, and um, and you know it it got pretty cold last night. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and what was unusual about it was that our bedroom was warm and the rest of the house was cold. And there was no heat on. <laughs> Isn't that now, something? There, you, there's some things that could be implied from that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but the bedroom was the warmest room in the was, house. Our bedroom was the warmest room in the house. Praise yeah. God. It, it, isn't God good? You know, amen. And um, <laughs> we were praising God for that. Amen. Mm -hmm. And um, and then the repairman came today, so he got it up and running. The heat is on right now. It'll take a little time. But praise God for that. So the Lord did, the, you know, we, we got victory. Amen. We had victory mm -hmm. last night. We had victory today. Mm -hmm. And then one of the elders uh, had a little bit of an emergency today, but that was resolved very quickly today. Amen. Mm -hmm. But God, amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a third thing too. I was trying to remember what it was. Okay. Uh, uh, no, um, uh, there was something else. I don't um, know, you, yeah. But anyway. You've always got wondering. something known. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, the, um, the facility itself okay yeah. the internet was down again oh brother okay and uh you know we, we've got to really stand in prayer for the internet mm -hmm. the uh, the the enemy likes to attack that uh facility internet and uh, but god amen so the repairman came out right away it was fixed what in 30 minutes not even right it was yeah. it was very quickly praise god so we just praise god for that mm -hmm. so the reason we're on facebook tonight is because of the, in the inclement weather it had nothing to do with the internet but so, you know, the Lord gave us victory in all these three major areas. Amen. Mm -hmm. Already. So we just want to, you know, we have to praise him. We have to thank him for everything that God is doing, because, you know, the enemy always wants us to look at circumstances and look at all the negative things, but look at all the positive things that God does for us. Right. I mean, just the fact that we're alive, we're here, right. We're on the Facebook tonight. Amen. And, uh, you know, we just, just praise him. And I, and I want to tell you, I had to go up to the doctor today to she wanted to check my body out. <laughs> I got another praise report. For I you. volunteered for that, but I couldn't get anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> so um, my my back still needs further prayer. And I you know, just be honest about that. You know, I still need some some prayer there. And uh, and I had some rib pain and and back pain yet, but the doctor wanted to see me in person. And you know, she wanted to look at you know, look at the body and see what's going on. Mm. It's hard to prescribe stuff when you don't see a person, right? Mm. And I'm telling her all these things mm. over the last month or so, but she says, well, you got to come up and see me. So we went up there today and uh, and uh, praise God, I got the appointment. The next appointment's not even for another month. Um, they, they don't even have any availability for another month. So I was blessed to even get it today. And I didn't have the energy to do it, I'll be honest. 
but the Lord said, go, I will help you. Amen. So praise God. You know, he gave me the energy and, and Jeff was there to help me. And boy, it was pouring down today too. Man, it was, it was a mess. And, uh, but you know, the Lord said, go, we had a, we had a, it, it was a blessing. I saw the doctor, I got some more x-rays, got some help. Um, praise God, take help from every source that, that you can get it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I just praise God for that, that Jeff was there to help me. And, uh, the Lord gave me the energy to do it. And, um, and the doctor was available. Amen. And, mm -hmm. uh, praise God, we got in and we got everything that, that, that we needed and, and got out. So the Lord is good. Amen. You know, um, we don't under, always understand why we're not totally healed yet, but we understand that we're in a process, but the Lord is doing progressive healing. He's on the throne and he's blessing. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we just got to keep praising him. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that, I just want to give some testimony of the great things that God has been doing. And I know you all have great testimonies. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have to give testimony of mm -hmm. what God has done for us. Amen. Because it's easy, like mm -hmm. I said, to look at all the negative stuff. Yeah. They you overcame know? him by the blood of the lamb. You know, the word of their testimony. Amen. And love and not their lives unto and, death. And something else I just got to tell you. Um, Apostle Jeff, you know, with his car, the very morning that the Lord told me to pray about his brakes, the, the dealer called him and told him that there was a recall on his brake line. And uh, so, you know, I just praise God, you know, that the that the Lord is out there to protect us, to save us. Amen. Angels are on assignment. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, so he got his car fixed. I'm so thankful. The Lord warned me to start praying about his brakes. Can you imagine? He had, the enemy was trying to do something with his brakes. Go lay down. And, uh, so, but I just praise God. The Lord is, is always protecting us. Amen. Psalm 91 is true. And, and, and Jesus is on the throne. Amen. So with that, we're going to turn it over to Apostle Jeff. And uh, Father, I just thank you. And I just praise you for all of your many blessings, Lord. We're going to praise you, Lord, just for life. Uh, you shed your blood for us. Father, I'm so thankful. You even gave me energy to see that doctor today. Amen. And Lord, we just praise you, God. And Lord, I just thank you. We have heat on in the house now tonight. We don't have to go the whole weekend without heat. And, and Father, we just give you praise for that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, honey, it's Amen. all yours. All right. Well, we wanted to talk about uh, uh, what caused, caused Jesus to work miracles. Now, there's more to this than you can do in one message. But I want to start out with one statement. Where the full gospel is preached, signs follow. All right? Where the full gospel is preached, signs follow. The word says that these signs will follow them that believe. All right? So preachers that don't believe the healings for today, well sit down and be a believer for a while <laughs> amen because the signs follow belief amen all right yes. so you know miracles are not hard religion makes it hard god responds to faith wherever it is used wherever it is used god will always respond to faith now i need to just in case uh, we have some uh, new members or new viewers tonight. Uh, there's, there's, I don't know, uh, there's a, different churches have different views and they, some, you know, preach that the healing all passed away and, uh, you know, God doesn't do miracles anymore and all this kind of thing. I think 90%, if you've been around covenant life church and now victory church any length of time you'll find out that that's not what the bible says or, amen and what are you doing i'm just checking to make sure we're on okay okay and um i uh, so in order to just help with that the same god who redeemed us and forgave us all of our sins is the same God who took stripes on his back so that we could be healed. The power that raised Jesus from the dead is the same power that brings healing and miracles. Now that power did not pass away. 
because if it had, we wouldn't be able to be rise from the dead. All right. So that power is still there. Healing is as much a part of God's redemptive plan and purpose as forgiveness of sins are. So if healing's not available, then forgiveness isn't either. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Good point, honey. All right. So one scripture I want to spend a little time on, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. I won't have you turn there because most of us have heard of it. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know, Jesus Christ is the same. But we know that he left heaven. He became a man. He, he was crucified, died, was buried, and rose again. We, we know that. So he did change, right? So what does that mean, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever? I mean, he, it's not his physical being it's not his uh, it, it's not his physical body it's his character it's his power amen it's his nature amen so that's why we can i can say to you and you see jesus doing something in the gospels mm -hmm. and he was doing it then then he can do it can do it and will do it now amen because maybe their power passed away, but his didn't. Amen. Amen. So we need to understand the sure foundation that we stand upon. We need to understand that there's nothing different about the church that Peter and John belong to as compared to the church that you and I belong to. It's the same church. It's built on the same foundation of apostles and prophets. It's empowered by the spirit of Christ. None of that has changed and never will change. But what, what needs to change is us. All right. For many of us, we're trying to do be good enough. Or we're trying so hard to be uh, to water walkers and things like that. You know, Galatians 3, 5 says this. Therefore, he who supplies the spirit to you and works miracles among you, does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Well, the answer is by hearing of faith. Therefore, he, who's he? God, God supplies the spirit. I think that's an interesting thing to think about. Mm -hmm. We're sealed with the spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. He promised mm -hmm. to never leave us or forsake us. Yes. He's always, uh, always there. But you know what? He's not always in manifestation. Right. And so he will supply the spirit when we hear with faith now with all that we've been going through for the last uh well couple years really i i've, I've been asking the lord uh, what more do we need to do what is there something that, that we, we we do what i call our our spiritual checklist have have we missed it somewhere is there an open door is there uh uh, anything that you told us to do that we neglected and the devil's using it against us what what you know remember the adversary satan is the accuser of the brethren but he's looking for something to accuse you of to god all right and so we're trying to overcome all that with our own efforts well first of all you're never, ever, ever going to get good enough to be saved. Amen. <laughs> so if you're good enough to go to heaven, why aren't you good enough to be healed here? 
Amen. Why? Now, he's going to supply the spirit to us. And that supply of the spirit is, per, is provided by faith. Because I asked the Lord, anyway, after going through this, all our checkpoints and check things, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> you know, just talking with Lord, are we okay here? And, and all that. There's nothing wrong with running, you know, talk, talk things over with him. But the answer I keep getting from him is faith. Faith. Now, I don't like to talk about myself this way, but I'll tell you right now, Linda's got faith. Oh, honey, you do too. And, well, I know I do, but you know. anyway, I'm just saying. But so there's there's something we, we need to build our faith. I believe that's the answer he gave me for Linda and our situation. Amen. And I'm hard to say, I'll bet you a dollar to donuts. <laughs> That that's your answer too. Mm -hmm. See, faith plus nothing equals a miracle. All right, faith plus nothing equals a miracle. So what it means is it's faith. Right. We understand it's God's grace. Right. So faith is the key to miracles. Jesus said in Mark 9, 23, if you can believe all things are possible, to him who believes. Jesus is a miracle working God, always has been and always will be. Amen. Whatever I've asked him for in faith, without wavering, he has given me in due time. Now, without wavering, okay? There, the we talk about the fight, the good fight of faith. What the good fight of faith is believing when circumstances don't look like you're winning. Believing against all adversity. The enemy, Satan, is going to try to get you to lay down your faith. He's going to try to weaken your faith because he knows that faith is the key to what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And so there's the battle, the good fight of faith. The good fight of faith is to stand on the word of God and to stand on what Jesus has told you personally. That is the good fight. If you're in any other kind of fight, you're in the wrong fight. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Be in the good fight of faith. All right. Believe what the word says. Okay. And I'm not, I'm here to tell you, I know it's not easy. You know, there have been days when I've wondered, when is this ever going to end? I'm just being honest with you. And, you know, I'll tell you one thing I really admired and really helped me a lot was, I think it was about two years ago, maybe three, that Kenneth Copeland had some type of physical problem. He had terrible pain in his legs and his back. And uh, it was so bad, he couldn't sit in an airplane seat long enough to fly to Asia and places and, and do his ministry. And well, he didn't hide it. He didn't try to make up some story. He simply came out and said he had a problem. And he asked the body of Christ for prayer. Amen. And I'm here to say, the man got healed. Yeah, praise God. Hallelujah. And that's what he just did with Gloria. But it took mm -hmm. a couple of months of standing and fighting back. All right. And that, now that's that's Mr. Faith Confession himself, Kenneth Copeland. All right. Yeah. And he had to stand for a season against the adversary to get his healing. Well, I believe that in there are instantaneous miracles and instantaneous healings. 
And, and there's a lot of different reasons for that. Sometimes some people are, are, uh, are more anointed in healing than others. That that's their one of their gifts. Okay. We can all get healed. We can all minister healing. We can all believe for healing. But some people get better results than others. All right. And that's because that's their gift. Like uh, Maldonado down in uh, Miami. He gets a lot of healings and deliverances and things. And, th and that's because that's his ministry. That's what he does. Okay. He, that's what he concentrates on. So what I, and that I'll, I'll get into, you don't want to be looking at what happens to somebody else. You want to, to walk your own walk. All right. So when we say without wavering, that's the thing. When your faith rises to a point where your faith is overcoming the obstacles and the and resistance that the devil is putting up against you, then you break through and you get your healing, you get your miracle. Now, God's not hesitant. He's not holding out on us. He's not forcing us to do anything uh, and wait and suffer and all that. But through that time of testing, through that trial, through that time of difficulty, what happens? We gain experience, we gain faith, we gain authority and power, and we're ready for the next battle. Because saints, let me tell you something. No sooner does this battle get solved, and there'll be another one. There'll be another one, you know? So just look at this whole thing as training for reigning. Because believe me, when we get to heaven, there won't be any more fighting. Amen. There won't be any more devil. There won't be any more demons. We yes. just love our Lord, be with our Lord, yes. and, and work in his kingdom for amen. eternity. Yes. Amen. Yeah, amen. That is anything I've always received. That is anything promised in the Bible. Anything promised in the Bible. It's all free. Yours for the believing. All right. Now, why do some not receive? Well, people give up. Some people don't know what the promises are. In prayer, take as much time to listen as we do speaking in prayer. The answer sometimes comes in a time of worship. An inner impression. All right, the Lord will give us one step at a time. All right, and you get an inner impression. Follow the inner and promptings of your spirit. Be ready for an answer that doesn't square with logic. All right, amen. You may need a healing, and he tells you to help, help somebody. What's that got to do with healing? Well, I don't know. I'm just going to go help somebody. All right, I'm going to help somebody because he told me to, because he asked me to. All right. All right. So be ready for an answer that doesn't make sense. Wavering is caused by reasoning and circumstances. Did you hear me? Wavering is caused by reasoning and circumstances. It's not fair to judge God because of decisions that were made or events that took place outside of his revealed will. And the Bible is his will. Amen. So we're reaping what we have sown. You can't base your faith on others' experiences. Only God knows the condition of the heart and the circumstances perfectly. For example, <coughs> the child that was born to Bathsheba and David in that incident with uh, uh, where David had Uriah killed, all right? God let that baby die with all the prayer that David was doing, all the repenting, 
all the begging, God let that baby die. How cruel. Well, first of all, the baby went home to heaven. Yeah. So how tough is that for the baby? Amen. The baby went to heaven and eventually Solomon assumed the throne. Whereas there had been an, another son of David's, there could have been trouble. There could have been civil war, which eventually there was. But Solomon became David's heir. Amen. And Solomon was born to David and Bathsheba. So this is why I say, when that much faith in prayer is put on something and you don't get the results you're looking for, sometimes it's because God's got something better. Maybe your career has come to a complete end somewhere. Well, God's got one that's better. Amen. Maybe you didn't uh, get the job that you wanted. God's got something better. Mm -hmm. The point is to keep faith. And faith means we trust that God knows what's best. That's right. Amen. Faith means that we love God, then we know he loves us. Mm -hmm. And that's why I keep saying that, that a Christian that has his confidence and built on the fact that God loves him. Yes. That is a Christian that in the end cannot be defeated. Amen. Amen. You can't base your faith on other people's experiences. Only God knows the conditions of the heart and the circumstances perfectly. Bishop's wife, Evelyn, went home. <laughs> well, you know, we must have had CI praying and begging God for, what, months, Linda? Declaring the cream, we did it Declare all. Declare cream, fasting cream, beating on drums, yeah. worship, doing all the things we know to do in warfare. Yeah. And she died anyway. She wanted to go home. But then we found out later yeah. that she had had an open vision of Jesus and she was tired of having pain in her body all the time. So she just went on home to be with the Lord. <laughs> Bye. She didn't want to stay. And that's something we need to remember when we minister he in healing. Some people don't want to be healed. What? Yeah. Yeah. There's people that rather have the problem and get the sympathy and the attention and all the things in, in court included and, in that. And maybe the disability check. And Yeah. And maybe the disability check. <laughs> maybe that's part of it. I don't know. What I'm saying is don't just assume that everybody that comes to you for, for prayer for healing necessarily wants to get healed. And I'm just here to tell you that you can't, you can't supplant somebody else's free will. Mm -hmm. All right. Faith can only be based on the word of God and what he has revealed in our spirits. All right, and that's why I always, always talk about read your Bible. You yeah. know, I know I'm a, I'm a broken record. It's all right. I'm going to stay in the same groove until we get it. Amen. Let's look at Luke chapter nine. Luke chapter nine. Luke chapter nine. Let's go there. Can you sit down? I'm going to just rest in my bed, honey. Okay. It's a little distracting. Oh, myself. I'm sorry. Did you want me to leave? No. Okay. I never want you to leave. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'll sit down. Well, Luke, in Luke chapter 9, verse 12. Now, say this, God will challenge faith, but not with sickness, disease, or failure. But God does challenge your faith. All right, now let's look at this. Luke 9, verse 12. When the day began to wear away, the 12 came and said to him, send the multitude away that they may go into the surrounding towns and country 
and lodge and get provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. But he said to them, you give them something to eat. <laughs> okay. And they said, we have no more than five loaves and two fishes, unless we go and buy food for all these people. Well, that'd be a major undertaking. This is, what was his instruction? You give them something to eat, wasn't it? Oh, good Lord. See, he's challenging their faith. God will give you an answer to your breakthrough, an yes. answer to your miracle, an answer to your healing that will challenge your faith. Yes. All right. We've got to step up to the plate sometimes. And they said, we have no more than five loaves and two fishes. Oh, my gosh. Well, there was about 5,000 men. So that means that there was probably between 20, 10 and 15,000 people out there which is why they were in the desert in the first place, because, you know, they didn't have uh, 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 FedEx field back then. They didn't have giant stadium, you know, they had to gather where they could gather in a crowd that big gathered out in the desert. And then he said to his disciples, make them sit down in groups of 50. What's that? An instruction. First, there's a challenge. You give them something to eat. Yes. Then there's an instruction. That's good. Make yes. them sit down in groups of 50. That's good. Honey. All right. Yeah, I never analyzed it like that before. That's real good. Job. Thank all you. Right. And they did so and made them all sit down. Now, you know, that took a little bit of time. They had to go through the crowd, tell, okay, oh, you man. tango over here. Yeah. You eights go over there. That's right. The Hinsons go over there. Right. <laughs> the Herberts go over yeah. there. Amen. Veronica go over there. Yeah. You know, right. and let's let's get some water here. All yeah. right. Amen. <laughs> then right. he took the five loaves yes. and the two fishes. Yes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the multitude. Amen. Now notice this. Now what's the next thing? worship right he looked up to heaven and broke it and gave thanks Amen. worship and thanksgiving mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they all ate mm -hmm. <laughs> and were filled okay and 12 baskets of the leftover fragments were taken up by them jesus always fills us up yeah he satisfied all their need plus extra always he always provides extra now what was that extra for notice he told them to take it up they, to pick it up don't waste anything god gives you that's right don't waste anything yes amen if he gives you a quarter don't waste it amen right he didn't wait they didn't waste it and what did they do with it what did they do with it there were people that were a long way from home yeah you couldn't pull into a McDonald's. <laughs> Amen. You couldn't go That's into right. an Arby's. That's right. Amen. Amen. The 7-Elevens weren't out there. That's right. Amen. They had to carry some food with them. Right. On their way home. Yeah. So he provided for that. Isn't he awesome? See, if it's God's will, it's God's bill. And he's going to equip you. Too. Amen. And that's how... <laughs> So they all ate and were filled. Amen. They all were filled. Yes. Amen. It proved that he was God because he had the power to do a creative miracle. That was a creative miracle. So, honey, what is your definition? I, people have asked me this, and I'm not sure I have a good answer, but... Uh, we say creative miracle and then we say miracle. Mm -hmm. So is there a difference between a creative miracle and a miracle? Yeah, just just what like it think? says. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, a creative miracle creates something. Right. He created food. So it's so to you, a creative miracle is creating something out of nothing. Right. It wasn't there before. It wasn't there before. Now so there is. So whereas a miracle it deals with something that already exists. So that's, now this is, this is Apostle Jeff's definition. I I don't know that we see it in the Bible, but that's, and that, that makes sense to me. It's in the Bible. Is it? Okay. 
Good heavens. Okay. All right. You so don't there, know if that's in the Bible. So there's the answer to that. Good heavens. Well, I don't see a definition there in Hebrews 1.1. 1, 1. You it says create a miracle means this. Well, you're not going to find that that's, in the Bible. That's what I'm saying. You have to read it and figure right. out. You have to get a revelation. Yeah. Right. So there, there's the answer. Apostle Jeff's got a definition yeah. for us. Go for a time. Some people, you know, work overtime to find reasons not to believe. All right. So here we're now we're going to move into something that is going to be very important and for this season of healing and miracles that's coming in. And, and I'm here to say that around April, something big is going to happen. Something big is going to happen in the world. And something big is going to happen in the kingdom. We want to keep our eyes on what's going on in the kingdom. Amen. Amen. All right. Turn with me to James chapter three. James chapter three. What we speak will determine our destiny. What we speak will determine our destiny. You can't pray and believe for healing and talk like you're sick. Now, if somebody asks you how you're feeling, you know, and it's obvious you don't feel good, you just say, I, I don't feel real good, but I'm believing God for a healing. Amen. That's or right. I'm believing God for a miracle. That's all. And as soon as people hear that, they usually back off. All right. <laughs> James 3, verse 1. My brethren, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. For we all stumble in many things. Teachers, preachers, apostles, prophets, all of us stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in the word, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle the whole body. Indeed, we put bits in horses' mouths that they may obey us, and we turn their whole body. Look also at ships. Although they are so large or are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small rudder, wherever the pilot desires. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest a little fire kindles? And the tongue is a fire, a world of inequity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature and it is and it is set on fire by hell good night for every kind of beast and bird and reptile and creatures of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind but no man can tame the tongue it's an unruly evil full of deadly poison with it, we bless our God and Father, and with it, we curse men who have been made in the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceeds blessing and cursings. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. All right. So James used some unique, had a unique revelation here on the power of words. Now, as we start moving into uh, this season of healings and miracles and what have you, it's going to be very, very important what we say. And it's not in, you know, okay, maybe you get a grip on not saying, talking about how sick you are all the time, but how healed you are. Maybe that's, uh, you got the got the victory on that, but you, you can't be cursing men. You can't be using your words in it and and giving it over to evil. And that is a hard battle because the words are empowered by hell itself. Evil words. Amen. So let's repent that right now, Jeff, because because everybody makes mistakes in that yeah. area. All right. So, Father, go, go yeah. ahead. You got the revelation. Okay. So, Lord, we just repent right now for negative communication and negative confession. Mm -hmm. And and even sometimes people do blasphemous words and slang words that are not 
um, it filled with grace, shall I say, amen, according to Ephesians 4.29. So, Father, we just repent because mm. all have sinned come short of the glory of God. And so, Father, we just repent for these things right now. And, Lord, we just ask your forgiveness. And we thank you that your blood cleanses us from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Matthew 15, 19 says, For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile a man. Jesus had much to say about the use of words. This was unheard of until his revelation of it. Jesus taught that what we say and believe is what we will receive. Amen. Everyone, preachers included, stumble in many things, in many ways with what they say. Offend, okay, stumble. Patio, it is in, in Greek, it means to trip, to err, to just fall down. It's not talking about some big, huge sin. It's talking about, uh, you know, I, I, it's talking about, the things we say to other people, you, you know how painful words can be. It's just communication. Especially when it comes from somebody uh, that, that you care about. Amen? So it's not talking about big sins, but even little ones. And then it says it's a world of inequity, which means unrighteousness. Amen. The condition of not being right, whether with God or according to the standard of his holiness and righteousness. So we want to speak good words, Amen. powerful words. Amen. Now, what that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean we go around like, what sayest thou today? You know, that, that's nonsense. And that, you know, that, that's just a big religious thing. What it does mean is we say positive words, we speak good words, Amen. we speak love, we speak a, a compassion, we, we're quick to forgive, Amen. we're quick to, to have mercy, mm -hmm. amen, because what you sow, you're going to reap, amen. amen. That's right. All right. Amen. And so during this season, we have to be people who take authority Amen. over their words. Amen. People who take authority over what they say. Amen. Now, I've got an activation for you. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? We're ready. You sure? Okay. All right. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. I render inoperative. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to say it with me? Oh, you want me to repeat after you? I want okay. everybody to repeat uh, after we, you. We didn't know that. Uh, all right, what so I I render, I render inoperative. Okay, go ahead. We render every word of lacking in power. We render every word of lacking in power. Inoperative. Inoperative. We repent. We repent. For speaking foolishness. For speaking foolishness. And jest. And jest. But Father. But Father. We receive your word. We receive your word. We ask you to set a watch over our mouths. We ask you to set a watch over our mouths. Lord help us. Lord help us to be more Christ-like. To be more Christ-like in what we say. In what we say. And what we do. And what we do. Lord, let us speak words of power. Lord, let us speak words of power. Lord, increase our anointing. Increase our anointing. Increase our, our authority. Increase our authority. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And lead us not in temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from the evil but one. But deliver us from the evil one. Especially our tongue. Especially our tongue. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's right. In Jesus' amen name. Amen and amen. amen. It's good activation, honey. All right. So we're going to go keep teaching amen. along these lines. Amen. But you know what I want more than just teaching? Yes is I want us to start practicing. Yes, amen. Be a hearer of the word. Be a doer. Be a doer of the word, not a hearer only. Right. Deceiving yourself. Can you you know, it's, a, it's amazing. Thank you. What do you want? I need a little help here. What do you want? Put it right in the back of my... Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Be a doer of the word, not a hearer only. Amen. Because we've had 
sufficient time now. Amen. One of the things that happens when there's a name change is there's a change in assignment. Yes. That's and right. there's a change in authority. That's right. And there's a change in power. That's it. And when I say that, I'm not talking about just the leadership. I'm talking about you, Victory everybody, Church. Everybody, lot If you daddy. start moving on this and start doing what the word says, right? And the what we're giving you and and the food we're feeding you, yes, you're gonna come out like a roaring lion. I want to tell you, the devil is scared to death Amen. of what we're doing here. We can just tell by what we're going through. Amen. The boiler stops working. <laughs> that stupid thing. You won't believe the junk that goes on. And not just Linda and I, other people too in our leadership, other people in the church. You know, now if I just take authority yes. over that spirit of affliction. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. We break the power. Yes. I break the power of affliction. Yes. Over each and every yes. person that's listening to us. Yes, God. Every member of Victory yes. Church. Yes. Every covenant partner of Victory Church. That's right. Every friend of Victory Church. That's right. I don't care if you're not even saved. I break the power of affliction off of you. Yes. In Jesus' name, In Jesus we name. command that spirit to come down. That's right. And we release a spirit of the love of God and mercy. In Jesus' name. And because the enemy is a legalist, I'm going to. We're, we're going to declare this: that every member. And every covenant partner of Covenant Life Church mm -hmm. is grandfathered in to Victory Church of Alexandria. Mm -hmm. Amen. Therefore, every every word he just spoke covers every Covenant Life partner and member. Amen. Because some of us were under Covenant Life when we were members and Covenant partners, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. So you're grandfathered in to Victory Church of Alexandria. You're automatically members mm -hmm. of Victory Church of Alexandria, and you're automatically Covenant partners. Amen. But those who are covenant partners in covenant life are covenant partners with Victory Church of Alexandria. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. We declare Amen. that Amen. as leaders and founders of the church. Amen. Amen. Thank you, honey. That was excellent. Amen. All right. Praise God. Okay. So we're going to continue on. Uh, so let's see. We got a birthday girl here tonight. All right. Jam Jennifer. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, Jam. All right. She's one of our helps ministers. And we love Jam. We appreciate you, Jam. Amen. Praise God, you've done a great job for us. Amen, and we, we love you very much, amen. And uh, we, we thank uh, all of our helps ministers for everything that they, they have done, amen. So let's uh, let's take the birthday girl first, amen. So Father, we just, this is for Jam Jennifer, Apostle Providence, Dr. Linda Herbert, and tonight is the, what, 4th of February, 2022. Father, we just lift up Jam to you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we just stir her in the prophetic apostolic. And the Lord says, daughter, I'm proud of you, says the Lord. The Lord says that you have stepped up to the plate. The Lord says, I've challenged you uh, in the spirit and in the natural. And the Lord says, I've even challenged you with your family to be bold with them and to get them saved and tell them about Jesus and tell them about the prophetic. And the Lord says, you have done everything that I've asked you to do, says the Lord. The Lord says, I'm very pleased with you. And the Lord says that you will see ministry opportunities come before you and open up to you in the days that are ahead, even within this church says God, because the Lord says, I am pleased with you. And the Lord says, I'm anointing you greater in this season. And the Lord says, those things that you desire in your heart, God says that I am working on it even right now. The Lord says, don't lose hope, don't lose faith. But the Lord, stand, but the Lord says, stand on the word. Amen. Just as you see the seniors in front of you stand on the word. The Lord says, having done all to stand. And the Lord says, I'm making you a great warrior, says the Lord. You're already a great warrior. You have great faith. And the Lord says, I'm building your faith and your reliance on me even more. And the Lord says, you surely will see miracles in your life and you will see them in your family. And the Lord says, those things that you're praying for and believing for, the Lord says, they will surely come to pass, but it will be in my word, my will, and my way. So Father, we lift up Jandy right now. We release that to her. Father, we thank you for the great helps ministers that she is and the member and all that she is to us, Father. And Lord, we just release uh, just a special anointing upon her tonight. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. Father, yes, God, that Lord, you said, you're meeting all of her need. Amen. And Lord, we just pray for her Aunt Cheryl. Uh, Father, we just lift up Cheryl to you. And anybody with COVID, COVID symptoms tonight, we stir the gift of working the miracles tonight. Lord, you said stir it up. Amen. You said believe for it. Father, we believe for the gifts of healing. We loose an anointing for the gifts of healing. And Father, so we stir her up right now in Jesus' name for Cheryl. 
And we just uh, release a health and a healing upon her right now in Jesus' name. Every COVID symptom, we rebuke you. We take authority over you right now. And we command you off, off of her. And Father, we just thank you for health, for healing for Cheryl right now. And anybody else who has COVID symptoms, in Jesus' name, with health and healing, right now, we claim Psalm 91. Amen. No play will come nigh their, their dwelling. In Jesus' name. And I am the Lord that healeth thee. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we lift up uh, Brianna Daniel. Amen. Prayer for healing. Amen. Father, we just thank you for a miracle in her life right now. In Jesus' name, we bind depression and oppression that would continue to come against her. And Father, we just thank you right now for stirring her in the prophetic. Father, we thank you for the miracle working power upon her life right now. We lose her in Jesus' name from every form of affliction, Father. Loose her in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Praise God. Um, this word is for uh, Diamond. Diamond. Amen. Father, we just thank you for Diamond. Father, she is a diamond. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this beautiful woman of God and all that she is. Father, that she's such a prayer warrior. And the Lord says, daughter, I'm going to move you up into global intercession, international intercession. And the Lord says, beware of what's going on on the, on the international scene as well as the national scene. For the Lord says, I'm going to use you to even intercede uh, at a greater level, says the Lord. And so the Lord says that there's some apostolic anointing in intercession that is coming upon you as well as prophetic. So Father, we stir her right now. We stir Diamond right now in the name of Jesus. We loose that upon her right now in Jesus' name. Amen. This next word is, um, okay, we got those two. Okay, praise God. So Father, we just thank you right now, Lord, for all that you've done tonight. We thank you for this first miracle working uh, healing night, Father. We thank you for the word that's gone forth tonight. We thank you even for the testimonies already, uh, Father, that have come forth. And uh, amen, this word is for Armani. Amen. Father, we just thank you for Armani. Father, we lift her up right now in the name of Jesus. And the Lord says, you're going to be writing more. You have more curriculums coming, uh, says the Lord. You have more ministry opportunities coming, says God. But the Lord says, be patient and wait. Be patient and wait, says God. For I have more things in store for you. And I have some other creative things in store for you, says the Lord. But the Lord says, with you, I'm well pleased. So, Father, we release that to Armani right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And for Kavina, the Lord says he's well pleased with you. Amen. And the Lord says that um, he's going to um, he's he's going to take care of this um, uh, situation that you've been praying about. There's two major situations, and uh, one has to do more with documentation and different things, and in a house and all that. And the Lord says, "I am taking care of that situation." And the Lord says, "There's going to be a peaceful outcome, and you're going to like the outcome." The Lord says, "But continue to stand on my word and pray it all the way through." Amen. So, Father, we release that to Kavina right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And, Father, we just um, lift up our pastors to you in the name of Jesus, Pastor Sean, Andrea, and their family. Father, we thank you for them. Father, we come against every attack, every assignment of the enemy that would try to come against them, whether it's disease or whatever it might be, infirmity. We break the power of that assignment over them right now. We declare health and healing over that entire household right now in Jesus' name. And, Father, we thank you for... Uh, Prophetess Shayla and her husband, Rod, Father, we thank you. We lift them up to you right now in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, for their service to the kingdom and service to the country. And Father, we bless them right now in Jesus' name. And Elder, Lord, we thank you uh, for the, uh, the hospitality, the creativity, and all the wonderful things that she does uh, for church, home, and everywhere she goes, Father, she's a blessing. So, Father, we, we just release a, a, a blessing upon her tonight. Any aches and pains in her body, we take authority over them right now. And Father, we, we decree him out of her body right now in Jesus' name. And a peace and a comfort come upon her in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we lift up Pat Shropshire's family to you right now in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you for her daughter, Gina, and all those, Father, uh, that are going to be at the funeral, Father, and the family. Lord, we just ask for a comfort to be upon the whole family right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And for those of you who know Pat uh, Shropshire, uh, her funeral is going to be uh, February 12th. Uh, the viewing is at 10 o'clock, 10 to 11, and the funeral will be from 11 to about 12. Right after that, there's going to be internment, and right after that is going to be the re repass. Um, Pastor Andrea will be putting out an email very shortly that will speak to all, all of that, but I just wanted to announce it tonight, okay? And um, uh, for those of you who are wondering, um, anybody who goes to the repass, they said you must have your vaccination record. Okay, because we're still in the time of COVID. 
Okay. Um, so uh, let's see. It's, the funeral is going to occur at the March Life Tribute Center, um, which is 7601 Sandy Spring Road, Laurel, Maryland, on February 12th. Okay. Amen. So there will be an e-blast coming out on that, but I just wanted to announce that uh, very quickly what the Lord had brought up in my spirit. Amen. And again, uh, praise God. Please be, be in prayer for the family. And we're, we're going to go ahead. We're going to take a collection up. Uh, if you would like to donate uh, towards the flowers or towards the funeral, amen, you can do it through uh, PayPal, uh, Breeze, or any, any kind of way. Send it snail mail. Amen. Uh, just put in the memo somewhere uh, for Pat's funeral. Okay, or send an email directly to me. You can send it to Covenant Life Church 7 at gmail.com. And we will get it. And we're, we're intending on uh, sending flowers and money towards the uh, funeral. Okay, praise God. And Apostle Jeff is going to be presiding over the uh, funeral. Amen. So we, um, amen. So we invite you to, to come out if, if you knew Pat and want to be a part of that. Amen. To comfort the family and, and honor Pat. Amen. So we just praise God for Pat. She was a wonderful uh, person. Amen. An excellent member of our church. She was so compassionate, always helping people. And such a blessing. And she was a, a real supporter of Apostle Jeff and I and the church. And, and we miss her very much. Amen. But she's in a much better place. All right. She's walking on the streets of gold. Amen. So that information will be we're coming out to everybody. Amen. Praise God. So we want to remind you also, um, by way of announcement real quick, Apostle Enos and Diane is coming uh, February 25th and 27th. Uh, we also have our special event night. It's going to be February 11th. That's next Friday. Amen. It's going to be a special event. Come out. And it's going to be heart to heart. There's no sermon. There's no worship. We're going to have fellowship time. And we're going to talk about love, 1 Corinthians 13. Uh, we're going to have singles talking, married talking. Amen. What it means to them. We're going to have a nice fellowship time. Next Friday night. All right. Live in person at 730. And for all the Facebookers, amen, we're going to Zoom you in. So we're going to send out a Zoom link so you will not be excluded. Okay, but that next Friday is our special event night. Okay, February 11th. And then on February 12th, amen, um, all right, those who want to help uh, Elder, all right, she cleans on Saturday mornings at 9.30. Uh, you're welcome to show up and just join her. Okay, and also there's a senior ministry uh, that night. Um, and I believe... It's 5 to 6.30 p.m. Okay, so if you're a senior and you want to participate, come to the church Saturday night, February 12th, and Elder always has fun stuff going on. Amen. Praise God. Okay, praise the Lord. Um, well, we're looking forward to live service this Sunday. Amen. We're believing God for good weather, internet working, and all of that. Please be in prayer for us. Amen. And uh, please be in prayer for our health. All of us need uh, prayer and coverage for health and Finances for the church and finances for us personally. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Father, is there anything else tonight? If anybody would say, Apostle Linda, I'm not sure I know Jesus. We want to give you the opportunity to get saved. Amen. So repeat after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and forgive me my sins. I want to live for you from this moment on in Jesus' name. And if anybody needs a baptism of the Holy Spirit, we're going to anoint you right now. Father, anoint them in the name of Jesus. Anybody who needs it or wants it, Father, we stir them up in the prophetic apostolic. And Father, uh, just grant them that gift, Father, right now. And Lord, the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking other tongues. In Jesus' name. I'm still getting feet. Anybody with foot problems? We're going to believe for a miracle right now tonight. Amen. Father, anybody with feet problems? Amen. Corns on the feet. Fungus. Plantar fasciitis. Nerve ending problems. Numbing sensations. Broken bones. In Jesus' name whatever it might be, anything with the feet, Father, crooked feet, Father, we just command a healing right now. And if, if there's a creative miracle needed, whatever's needed, Father, in Jesus' name, the foot problems right now, be healed. Water retention in the ankles and in pain, we break the power of that right now. We command all water retention out, a fluid in the body, excess fluid out in Jesus' name. Cartilage in the knees, somebody needs cartilage in their knees. Father, we just thank you right now for cartilage uh, forming. There's a creative miracle right there. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, yes, God, cartilage in the knees right now. Someone's got a problem with their hand. Amen, the right hand. Father, we, we just claim health and healing right now over that hand. In Jesus' name, 
back issues. I'm going to claim that too. Back issues right now. Any kind of back issues, a spinal column, amen, poor muscles, uh, any type of back issues. Father, we claim a healing uh, right now. Put your hand on your back. We claim a healing right now. In Jesus, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. No broken bones. Psalm 34, 20. He guards all of our bones. Not one of them is broken. Be healed in the name of Jesus. All ache and pain out. Amen. Sore muscles out in Jesus' name. Total healing on the backs, on the spinal column right now. Discs. People are needing uh, something wrong with a disc, a bench nerve or disc. Father, we just claim a healing right now for those people who need a, a disc healing right now in the name of Jesus. Right arms, right arms. Someone's got a problem with their right arm. Father, we command a healing right now in their right arm. Left shoulder. Father, we claim a healing right now in the name of Jesus. Left shoulder in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. Left knee. Somebody's got a problem with left knee. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command a healing on that left knee. Amen. I mean, yes. We even have minister friends that have problems with left knees. I command cartilage to form right now. In the name of Jesus, that left knee. No more problems. No more bone on bone. In Jesus' name. Osteoporosis out. In the name of Jesus, we bind osteoporosis in any form. Osteopenia. Get out now. In Jesus' name. We command bones to be refreshed. Marrow to be restored in the bones, uh, bones to grow back in the name of Jesus right now. In Jesus, a strength to your bones, strength in the name of Jesus. Eyes, amen. Anybody need something with their eyes? Put your hand on your eyes. I come against glaucoma, cataracts right now, out, uh, 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 fogginess, blurry eyes, astigmatism, left sided, um, near sighted, far sighted, out. Optic nerve healed right now. Be healed. Macula, be healed. In the name of Jesus. Hearing. We command normal healing right now. In the name of Jesus. Sinus issues gone. Congestion out. In the name of Jesus. Heart issues. Heart palpitation. Shortness of breath. Let's go with heart first. Heart. I just command normal uh, functioning of the heart. No plaque buildup in the arteries leading into the heart. Amen. Normal timing in the name of Jesus. Normal functioning. Strength to your heart. Respiratory. We command, we bind asthma right now. Command it out. Amen. Weakness in respiratory. Fluid in the lungs. Out in Jesus' name. Amen. All muscles throughout the body strengthen. Amen. Blood issues. We just command a healing on all blood issues right now. Father, cleanse the blood in the name of Jesus. Diabetes out. All these blood issues out in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Okay. All right. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, we want to thank you all for tuning in tonight. Amen. On, on behalf of Apostle Jeff and I and our elders and all of our helps ministers and people. Amen. Thank you for joining us on this broadcast tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Keep praying for us as we're praying for you. Amen. So Father, we just come before you. We thank you for this night. Lord, thank you for all of the beautiful things that you've done for us, all the healing that you've given us, all the blessing, Lord. Oh, yes, God, all the, all the encouragement. And Lord, all the things that you're still doing. And Father, we, we just give you all the praise and the glory and the honor. Father, we ask you to bless the people. Bless them, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the donations. Thank you for the prayer support. In Jesus' name. Remember, go to our website. Our old website is still up. www.covenant-life-church.org and hit that donate button. Amen. All that money comes right into Victory at Church. Amen. It's one and the same account. Amen. So we appreciate any donation that you all give. And we love you in the Lord. Bless you all. Good night, everyone. <laughs>